Hello, everybody. Uh, crazy awesome stuff today. First of all, how cool is it to open up a comic book bag and it's your comic inside there? I, I have been collecting comics since I was very young. I used to have several long boxes of comics. I went through one of my um, purging phases when I was living on a sailboat where I got rid of everything I owned and I sold um, just because I didn't want to burden my mom with keeping my comics in her attic. I sold several long boxes full of like Jim Steranko, Captain America's, every single thing Todd McFarlane ever did. I mean, I had all of his Hulk, his Spider-Man, his in, uh, Invasion Earth. Um, uh, Spawn. I mean, it, I, I went on a um, mission to have everything McFarlane ever did, so I, I did. I had all of his books, a um, bunch of Silver Age stuff. Anyway, I got rid of it all just because I didn't want them owning me, so I had, couldn't own them. So anyway, I'm, I'm serious about my love of comics. I've got my reading stand here. I've got uh, quite a few to go through. So this is an absolute highlight for me that that this exists in the, not quite the flesh, in the paper, in the pulp. Um, you can see the awesome lineup, uh, Palmiotti and Gray, uh, Justin and James, they're um, just legends in the industry. It's incredible that they that they did this for me. And then Jimmy Broxton, whose artwork absolutely, um, it, it just, he just nailed it. I mean, look at this first opening spread of Allison wanted to go outside and Holston coming up and, and finding her there. Um, check out the ad for sand on the back. Um, so there's only one thing cooler than this, and that is what came in the mail today. A big box of these. And that, I mean, this is nuts. So that's issue one. It's uh, it hit stands this hit stands uh, last Wednesday. Um, so issue two is going to print now, um, and that'll be out in a month. So when all six of these are out, they're going to be collected in this bad boy. It's a graphic novel. This is the whole story. Um, you, you can slow this down. The video down and read the whole thing right there. You don't even have to buy it. Um, <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. So what's cool about this is yeah, artwork by Jimmy Broxton. Oh my god, he is such a badass. Look at this scene. What's cool about this graphic novel, not only is it is it gorgeous, I mean the the, the color, like the, the different levels have their own um, lighting, so you can watch the, the lighting change as they go through it. Oh, that's neat. The, uh, it's like a symbol for the silo. That's, that's really cool. I'm going to scan that and start using that. Um, so not only do they have this beautiful artwork, I don't want to give too many spoilers, and issue three. Oh, oh, I love that scene. Um, you also have a... Check out who that is. Nice. Um, there's also, at the end of the comic, the end of the graphic novel, all these sketches, these variant covers. Um, they call it Artifacts from the Server. And there is just a bunch of the stuff that uh, that Broxton worked on. Amazing, like this um, schematic of the entire silo. You know, I've already I've already gone through all this. I've already read it all in order to um, offer feedback and edits and stuff during the process. But. Uh, oh. 
Okay, this I think this is the start of book four. No, issue five. It's insane how this issue starts off. Just insane. And I can't show you the graphic because it's too spoilerish, but it's it it's one of um, it's one of the pieces that when Jimmy drew it, he sent me the black and white early on, and oh my god, it's horrific. There's not a there's not a word of dialogue on it. Just man. So, what you whining about, Bella? Um, I gotta sit down and read the whole thing again. So I have uh, I have quite a few of these. I gotta figure out. Um, you know, it's been so hectic around here. I haven't had time to do the the kind of giveaway I want to do, but I'm going to figure out something in coming weeks and we'll get do some signed copies and um, send out some foreign editions. I got stuff uh, from the attic to bring down. I, maybe I'll just make a list of what I have and we'll give some of it away and put some of it up for sale. So those of you who want something, you don't have to get lucky to get it. And uh, we'll uh, try to... Um, Lighten my load, but unlike last time, this time I'm going to give my mom some of my comics to hold and not get rid of them all. Um, anyway, thanks so much to the team for putting this together and for everyone at, at um, Jet City and um, and Cryptozoic for the opportunity. It's uh, it's been an incredible process, and I'm really hooked on it. Look forward to doing this again with uh, another story or maybe continuing the uh, the wool story in comic fashion. One thing I thought about, everybody wants, you know, some story after dust, and I thought maybe instead of writing that as a novel to pick up um, where that left off with a, a long open-ended comic book run, maybe do 60 issues or something in that world and uh, pick up the story uh, where that left off or tell stories from uh, different silos. So, um, We'll, we'll explore that as uh, time goes on, and um, if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet, go see that movie, and when uh, the um, Tom Cruise movie, Edge of Tomorrow, comes out on video, check that out as well. Two of the best science fiction flicks that uh, I've seen in a long time, both out this year. Um, Alright, that's it. Peace.